I mean, naturally, with any sort of change, and, and this has been a sea change for some people, um, it's, change, it's challenging their thinking, changing their thinking, changing their teaching approaches, and we have lots of resistance. Uh, initially, um, we had a, a few champions, and a few early adopters, and a few people that, you know, we were able to get on board really quickly. So we use those people to support us in the literacy and numeracy team to sort of roll it out gently at first across the institute. But what we found over the last two and a half years, it has gathered momentum. I think particularly with the introduction of the online assessment tool, the fact that myself and, and my team have done a lot of work to support tutors. And one bonus that I wasn't really expecting is that for some lecturing staff, it's really ignited their passion for teaching and learning again because they've gone through an opportunity um, to look at the teaching practice, look at the pedagogy and, and really sort of, you know, thinking afresh. And, you know, we're supporting them with strategies and advice and support to help them make what they see uh, as, you know, embracing literacy and literacy become a reality, really. There are challenges. I mean, there are key challenges in terms of continuing professional development, for example. Um, you know, we've had experiences where we've had numbers of staff who we've supported to do a national certificate in adult literacy education, who've subsequently left the organisation. New staff coming on board, and so the work starts again. So continuing professional development is always going to be a challenge. We've taken a different approach this year, but we've still got work to do in, in terms of, I know that the literacy and numeracy team in our institute will have done the job when we're no longer there. Currently we're there and we'll be there until the end of this academic year. And what we're trying to do is, is shape a sort of handover plan um, and, and make it sit within faculty. And yeah, but there are still challenges associated with that because it's just another thing for people to think around. I've had conversations with staff who tell me, and this is the first time I've talked about teaching, my teaching, for, for years. And the fact that, you know, we're interested, we're offering support, we're offering strategies, and actually we're affirming that what they're doing is good practice, because quite often we'll work with uh, vocational tutors, um, and they'll say to us, but I do that already. And we're kind of, well, yeah, that's fantastic. It's a deliberate act of teaching, but now you can put a name to it. And so for us as an organisation, um, I think what we have seen is that reawakening um, of, yeah, the passion of teachers, and it's coming through. I'm seeing it, and I know other people are seeing it too.